Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising weekly tarot reading, November twenty fifth to December first, uh, two thousand and nineteen. And bear with me just a second, guys. Um, as usual, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are we are ready to go and dive into it. Um, All right, so the first one which will represent the topic of your week Aries is going to be the two of pentacles followed by the third uh, the, by, by, the, by the second card which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome here throughout the week that will be the 10 of wands third card is standing for the positive aspects of the week itself and we do have a person here standing as the king of uh, pentacles and the last one, uh, which uh, represents the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. And in generally, the best way you can go through the week here, that will be the Death card. All right, so uh, Two of Pentacles, in this case, is going to be catalyzed uh, by the Moon card. And uh, these two are going to put a bit of a um, more amplified pressure upon you. That is because a... According to those cards, many things are going to move around and you will, you will need to I kind of juggle with a lot of, a, um, I can't really say responsibilities here, but more like tasks, all right? And the thing is that with these two, as they are a passive friend in this position, it looks like that many of those a tasks that you will need to attend ain't gonna make much sense. I mean, you will not be able to explain yourself. I mean, why those things are happening or a, why you feel the need, if you will, to a, attend to them, okay? But the thing is that uh, this week as well, that it will be a week of uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, minor changes that will demand, not just only allow, but also a demand from you to let go of certain things. And under certain things, I mean concepts, I mean ideas, I mean a plans, routines, and all those kind of stuff. So at the end of the day, you have a little bit more a aligned with reality <clears throat> kind of uh, kind of routine, kind of a uh, a strategy to move on forward. That is for reason being is because it does look like that. Uh, these two cards are pointing, um, how can I say it, that there is a, a something cooking in the air. I mean, cooking in a sense of that uh, something major is to happen and major in a good way, all right? And now it's important that you do sort every single trifle and every single shenanigan. That will be the pull, that will be the urge you are going to feel to attend to now, insignificant things on the first side, you know, and as I said, a trifles as well. And that may unfortunately make you feel a bit insecure throughout the week for reason being is that you may not have the time or you may think that you will not have the time, you know, to sort everything out. So the other card which points to the challenges 
that you need to overcome that is going to be the ten of wands and it is accompanied here with the eight of wands so these two cards are speaking about a speed they are speaking a about playing by the rules if you will and under by the rules under yeah under by the rules i mean that uh, there is a um, a game that you are playing uh, that you have involved yourself into before this week and now it's way too uh way too late for you to quit from it and uh, this is the pressure you are feeling in this week aries that you will have to undergo all these procedures all these tasks all these responsibilities if you will so you can finally clear out the play uh the playgrounds all right you can clear out your turf and you can start playing the game because um a ten of wands although you may find it very difficult to believe especially with the eight of wands points that this thing which is cooking for you this circumstance or this new goal that may appear for you or new opportunity it's pretty major as a matter of fact with the ten of wands it seems that it is a quite awesome thing but before you get there like said you need to undergo the process of letting go concepts letting go ideas you know letting go like i said structures if you will or a strategies plans as well so the other card that we are having for you Aries, it will be in regards to the positive aspects of your week and that will be the king of pentacles it will be accompanied here by the star card and it's quite sort of an, an awkward one we have a, a passive enemies into this position so uh well it's uh, pretty much a person who cuts down your wing in a wings in a good way um i don't know it's difficult to explain it really but that is a, a kind of a, a guy or a girl or a woman who will give you to understand that nothing comes from for free in this world and if you want to um, have uh, to, to extend your reach okay beyond the limits that you have self-imposed beforehand you actually need to push yourself into certain limits and what is the be the best what is better way to push yourself than you know changing things that are outdated once again now, this person, however, it, it looks like that is going to approach you with a, a severe amount of generosity. Now, that person is usually self-absorbed and quite methodical, if you will. So they don't rush into things. And they are to approach you with a, a severe, like said, portion of generosity. The thing with the King of Pentacles here it is that uh, generous does not mean charitable. Therefore, they will expect from you as much as they are gonna give to you another thing that that card may signify in this uh, particular position uh, with the star card is that maybe it's time for you to bring your friends into the matter use your connections to uh, help yourself you know kind of like a lot to, to to align yourself with uh, with the new world order if um, if you want to take it that way but uh, one thing is certain here with these two cards on a positive aspect that uh, the dream you have okay the thing that you yearn for that may be achieved in an year in a couple of years maybe in a 10 years uh you definitely are gonna have a hand that will help you with it okay and that hand probably comes around in this week december 25th to uh, november 25th excuse me to a uh, December 1st 2019 but make no mistake guys uh, this one is going to observe you first and will contemplate upon how much you're worth and for that reason it will be important that you do juggle with everything that comes around to you in the week itself and the last card uh, which is the guidance the tarot is offering that will be the death card and it's going to be accompanied or catalyzed by the nine of cups it's a pretty heavy one first of all we do have a passive supporters into this position so what these two cards here are pointing is that you should not be afraid of letting go and how do you know what you can let go of well it's it's a 
it, it can't get any simpler than that or simplistic than this. It means that you should let go of everything that makes you feel miserable. So kind of like, I don't want to kind of give such a, a drastic examples, but let's say if your relationships makes you miserable, well, maybe that's the thing you need to let go of. Same thing goes about a job. But the thing is that you should not forcefully let go of it. That these things will want to walk away from your life on their own accord. For example, if it is about relationship, your partner will want to break up with you, all right? And <clears throat> as uh, at the end stages, that relationship made you miserable, well, then it's not really worth it. It's simple translation to these cards is that you need to hold on into only to those things that can actually be brought to the next level that gives you pleasure, it makes your life feel fulfilled, it makes you experience a sensual joy, if you will, content. Did I say content before? Maybe. But the, the point is that they makes you feel good and on that feeling you can capitalize on, right? That's, that's the whole point here. These are the things that you need to let go of. And not only that, but you also need to secure on them and like said, bring them on the next level. That is the positive aspect of the death card. That yes, one stage end, ends, but that doesn't mean that it has to be the end of everything. It, it may mean, or if you work into that direction, it will mean that you are to transcend into the next step you know, into the higher level. So, uh, yeah, that being said, um, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.